Another year has closed at Newman University, but this year was like no other. Through the pitfalls and the promise, to the tribulations and triumphs, the Newman University community adapted to overcome the unprecedented difficulties of the pandemic. In August, we welcome students back to campus. With new safety guidelines, students moved back into the dorms. Hybrid classes were instated to ensure each student had the ability to get the personal aspect of learning that Newman University prides itself on. An annual celebration, Newman's homecoming overcame challenges in its own way. With online events like Designer Bag Bingo and on-campus drive-in movie night, the Newman community was still able to come together and have some fun. Though the holiday season was quieter than in the past, the Newman University community still shined with warm wishes and happy celebrations to close 2020. The holiday spirit was alive and well with live stream events such as A Celtic Christmas from the Cultural Arts Forum and the Center Stage Productions performance of It's a Wonderful Life, the radio play. As the calendar turned, things began to pivot. Newman Athletics began to gear up. Student athletes finally got their chance to suit up after a lost 2020 season. From the drop of the puck to the swish of the basket to the intensity of a face-off, Newman student athletes left all on the field as they returned to action. Even during such a difficult period, the generosity of those who support Newman University shined brighter than ever. Amazing gifts, such as a $1 million donation from Anne and Mark Biotta, displayed their deep support for Newman University's mission and values. Newman University dedicated the Ahmad and Janet Faramon Memorial Atrium in recognition of the couple's generosity. The Faramon bequest will also endow two nursing scholarships. And on the academic side, Dr. Sandra Weiss was honored with the installment of the Weiss Endowed Fund, a scholarship fund to honor the generosity and legacy of one of Newman's most dedicated faculty members. For Newman's Day of Giving, 134 generous friends and alumni helped raise over $46,000 in honor of Charter Day, a celebration of Newman University's founding. In total, this year, over 1,700 donors helped raise over $3.3 million. These generous gifts helped improve the lives of our students through scholarships, facilities, and technology. Finally, the day students awaited had arrived, commencement. But like all things, this commencement was a little bit different. This time, Newman University celebrated two class years. The class of 2020 came back to walk across the stage and reclaim an important moment lost the previous year. Then the class of 2021 tossed their caps after persevering and succeeding during one of the toughest times in our history. As the university calendar came to a close, Newman University hosted the first annual athletics golf outing. Held at White Marsh Valley Country Club, the sold-out all-day golf event was a huge success. Bringing in over $100,000, these funds will be put toward all the athletics programs at Newman. Newman University and the Sisters of St. Francis of Philadelphia officially signed a purchase agreement on June 30th to formalize the sale of several historic properties and contiguous land to the university. Your generosity has been tremendous this year. From our day of giving, to Designer Bang Bingo, to our inaugural athletic golf outing. Newman University would not be able to provide quality education without your support. Your belief in our mission and values allows us to work hard, molding the leaders of tomorrow. For all your support this year and the years to come, the Newman University community sends our thanks and gratitude to all of you.